Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to create a sticky animation using Framer. No coding required. Plus, I'll provide a free remix link in the description. So be sure to check that out. I'm Imran from Cycloto and let's jump in. Before we begin, a quick note. I got this animation idea from Apple's iPhone 16 Pro page. Now let's jump back into our project and set up the layout. First things first, go to the layers, desktop and click this layout to make it a stack. Change the fill color to 000, 000 pure black. Next, add a frame by pressing F on your keyboard as a shortcut. Turn this frame into a component as we will use it to insert our images. Right click on it and create component. Name it anything. I'm naming it images. You might wonder why we need a component. If we look at our project, you will notice that as we scroll down and move to the next text, the image changes. For example, the second text is linked to the second image and the third is linked to the third image. To achieve this effect, we need to create a scroll variant so that as soon as the second text comes into view, the image updates accordingly. Now let's upload our first image. Click this variant one. Make it stack by clicking this layout. Change the width to fit content. Same goes for the height. And change the name to one for consistency by the way you will find all the images in the asset panel of the remix link now click this variant and change the image by drop it here we need another variant Now go back to the home and make its width and height fit content. Next wrap it in another stack by pressing Ctrl Alter Enter or Command Option written on Mac. Name it Image. Now let's add the text. This text. Press T on your keyboard and paste our text. Now drag it to the desktop and change the color to white. Set the font size 40 and make it semi bold. Now press Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard to duplicate it and paste the paragraph text decrease the font size to 21 pixel change the width to regular and select both add it to another stack by pressing ctrl alter enter and name it text now select the image also and add another stack i mean the parent stack by pressing ctrl alter enter and name it content now change the direction to horizontal and drag it and drop it here to appear in the left change the width to fill same here now let's add the gray color select it and paste our hex code also here we need to add two more text elements 
as you can see this and this so to keep the project organized simply select the headline and paragraph into another stack name it one change the height to viewport and make it 100 vh now duplicate it two more times by pressing ctrl or command d on your keyboard and go to the desktop change the height to fit content click this content again and align it start now change the content here all right we have created three text boxes now let's move on the fun part adding the animation now go to text one and then scroll down scroll section and name it one do the same for text two and text three I'll explain why we are doing this in a moment now go to the image component go to effect scroll variant section in view and the viewport will be middle replay yes section choose the section 1 and set the variant 1 this links the first image to the first text this image to this text for variant 2 click this add section choose section 2 and to set the variant to hold up let me quickly rename the component variants to just 2 and 3 for consistency now again go to variant 2 and select the variant 2 now add another section 3 and the variant 3 this is why we named the scroll section's name earlier it helps connect the images to their corresponding text you might think the animation is ready so let's preview it but wait it's not working that's because we need to make the image sticky like this so it stays in place until the next text appears to fix this we'll wrap the image component to another stack and name it wrapper and change the position type to sticky let's preview again still not working why because when we make a section sticky we also need to set the parent overflow to visible so the wrapper's parent is image scroll down and set the overflow visible and the image parent layer is content and the contents parent layer is desktop you can adjust the overflow setting layer by layer or simply select the content and desktop select the overflow visible now let's preview again you will notice that the image changing but it's not sticky at all I mean it's not behave as expected this happens because if we zoom out you can see the image's height is smaller than the text height this is the height of the text and this is the height of our images to fix this we need to match the image height to the text height instead of manually measuring we can simply set the image height to fill 
or 1FR. Now it's ln in the center. So let's click on this ln start to show it on the top. Now let's preview again. Yes, now it looks perfect. We can also set our wrapper height to 100 VH to ensure it always displays 100% of our device screen. And finally, one last thing we can do is add an animation to this text. If you look at our project or the iPhones page, you will notice that when the text appears from the bottom, it starts with a grey color. As it reaches to the middle, it becomes clear and takes it actual color. To recreate this effect, go to text tool. Since the first text appears without animation, as you can see, go to effect, scroll transform, trigger section in view and the viewport will be bottom, choose the section 2 and set the opacity 0.4 and we will scale it to 1 and 2 leave it like this and add a transition now copy this and paste it here now let's give it a preview to see yes it works we can decrease it even more zero point three or two to see. You can tweak it to see how it looks. Now go to the text three and paste the effect. I guess we have to change the section to three and from make it 0 0.2 and the 2 is ok now let's give it a preview to see how it looks yes everything looks perfect also we can add blank spaces to the top and bottom drag it and drop it to the desktop press up arrow on your keyboard and make it fill Change the height to viewport and make it 60 VH. Remove the fill color and name it spacer. Now copy it. Press down arrow on your keyboard to place it on the bottom. Preview it again. This makes the animation visually more appealing when we preview it in action. So that's how you can create a sticky scroll effect similar to Apple's page. It's not perfect though. If you have noticed on Apple's page, there's a fade in or fader transition for the images as you scroll. Unfortunately, Framer doesn't have a built-in scroll variant animation for this. As you can see here, we can't add any animation here. While you can achieve it with custom code on here, my goal was to show you how to create this effect without writing a single line of code. That's it for now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video, inshallah.